Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to 61. To find the values of a and b such that a comma b is element of a natural number. Now in the first step, from here in the left side, a power 3 minus b power 3, this is in the form of a perfect cube. So this here, a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to a minus b bracket then times bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket then it is equal to this here 61 then in the next step because here this multiplication of this times this then from this 61 which is whereas 61 it is a prime number and also it is a natural number natural number it is like one two three and so on so into here 61 it is either a multiplication of because because it is this times this so this 61 is multiplication of natural numbers which are also prime numbers so 61 it is 1 times 61 or it is 61 times 1 whereas these are natural numbers then from here the relation between this and this from here a minus b a minus b because here is subtraction this is less than this here a square plus a b plus b square because here we have addition of these squares and here we have subtraction so this is less than this so when you compare with this with 1 times 61 1 is less than 61 and this 61 times 1 this is greater than this so this selection here it is possible but this section here it is not possible so from here the relation it will be this here it is equal to this so it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square bracket is equal to this 1 times 61 then from here we have two solutions whereas this is equal to 1 so a minus b is equal to 1 and this is equal to 61 so a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 61 then from this first solution here we'll take negative b to this side so this solution it will be a is equal to 1 then negative b will take to this it will be plus b so from here we've got a is equal to 1 plus b so we substitute this equation in terms of a into this position of a into this second solution so from here a square it will be this 1 plus b bracket square then plus b b it is this 1 plus b bracket times this b then plus this b square is equal to this 61 then in the next step into here we'll expand this 1 plus b bracket square so it will be 1 square then plus 2 times 1 times b it is 2b then plus b square then plus b times 1 it is b plus b times b is b square then plus this b square is equal to 61 then in the next step here 1 square it is 1 then plus 2b plus b it is 3b then plus b square plus b square plus b square is 3b square is equal to 61 then in the next step it will be this which is 3b square then plus this 3b then plus this here 1 we we'll take 61 into this side to be minus 61 is equal to 0 then it will be 3b square plus 3b 1 minus 61 it is negative 60 is equal to 0 then from this quadratic equation it is divisible by 3 in every part so we'll divide this equation the whole equation divide by 3 so 3b square divided by 3 it is b square then 3b divided by 3 it will be plus b minus 60 divided by 3 it is minus 20 
is equal to 0 divided by 3, it is 0. Then from this quadratic equation, it can be solved by grouping and factorization. Now from this constant, which is negative 20, whereas it will be product is equal to negative 20 and the sum is equal to coefficient of b which is 1 so sum it is 1 now from here this here it is a product it negative 20 is a product of 5 times negative 4 and also this one is the sum the sum of 5 plus this negative 4 so our factors are 5 and negative 4 then from here by solving by grouping and factorization it will be this which is b square then b we split we split him by using these factors of 5 and negative 4 so b b is same as 5b minus 4b then minus 20 is equal to 0 so from here b is common so we'll take b out of bracket b square divided by b it is b 5b divided by b it is 5 bracket then from here we'll take negative 4 out of bracket negative 4b divided by negative 4 it is b negative 20 divided by negative 4 it is 5 bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here b plus 5 is common so we'll take b plus 5 bracket out of bracket this divided by this it is b this divide by this it is this negative 4 bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution b plus 5 is equal to 0 and this is second solution b minus 4 is equal to 0 then from here we take 5 to this side it will be b is equal to negative 5 and here we take negative 4 to this side it will be b is equal to 4 now here we already get the values of b then we recall to find a we recall this equation of a is equal to 1 plus b so as to find the value of a so from a is equal to 1 plus b also into here a is equal to 1 plus b so it will be a is equal to 1 then plus b b is this negative 5 then it will be a is equal to 1 minus 5 is minus 4 but rem recall that a comma b is element of a natural number natural numbers like 1 2 3 positive numbers but these are b and a are negative numbers so this solution here it is not possible then from here this second solution so it will be a is equal to 1 then plus b b is 4 so it will be a is equal to 1 plus 4 it is 5 so a it is 5 b is 4 therefore our conclusion of a comma b is equal to 5 comma 4 whereas these are natural numbers now let's check this solution if it is correct now to check from a comma b is equal to 5 comma 4 We'll substitute these values into this our problem so it will be a power 3 a it is 5 so here it will be 5 power 3 minus b power 3 it will be this 4 power 3 is it equal to this 61 then from 5 power 3 5 power 3 it is 125 minus 4 power 3 it is 64 is it equal to this 61 now from 5 minus 4 it is 1 12 minus 6 it is 6 so 61 is equal to 61 left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of a comma b is 5 comma 4 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye